the students who are the aspirants of Bachelor of Education with social science methodology often face challenges in learning the subject. To make the teaching learning process interesting and to understand the concepts of teaching learning, one must be eager to explore the world of knowledge. To overcome the obstacles we face while learning social science methodology, let's dive deeper into the world of learning. I'm Habiba, a teacher with 12 years of experience as PRT, TGT Social Science, PGT Economics in CBSE and ICSE schools, Assistant Professor, Social Sciences Methodology in College of Education, Qualified Net Education. In this channel, Excel with me, I am going to cover the topics like Social Science as an Integrated Area and Study, Aims and Objectives of Learning Social Science, School Curriculum and Resources, Approaches and Strategies, Tools and Techniques of Assessment for Learning Social Science and many more. Hope you will enjoy learning with me. Let's start today's topic that is Social Sciences as Integrating Area of Study, Context and Concerns. First, subtopic of this is Distinguishing between Natural and Social Sciences. Introduction any disciplined knowledge which deals with people and utilizes a scientific method. What do you mean by social? Social means pertaining to society. Whatever we study related to society is called social, while science is a systematic study of any phenomena. Natural sciences have to deal with the phenomena of the universe. Social sciences, those mental or cultural sciences which deal with the activities of the individual as members of the group. Older social sciences are politics, economics and social economics, history, jurisprudence. New social sciences are anthropology, penology, sociology. And other new social sciences are the science of ethics, education, philosophy, psychology. Other social sciences, social, biology, geography, linguistic and social administration. Now let's understand science through this definition given by Okasha in the 2002. Science is generally understood as an endeavor to understand, explain and predict the world we live in using distinctive methods of inquiry in an attempt to constant theories. It is, however, not easy to find a set of features that define what separates science from other attempts to understand and explain the world, such as religion, astrology, and fortune-telling, which are generally not regarded as branches of sciences. There are a number of similarities between the natural and social science which include the use of similar methods and partly overlapping epistemological and ontological stances that is stances regarding the creation of knowledge and nature of reality. However, there are also a number of elements that distinguish the two such as there are different origins, subjects of studies and limitations. Let's understand the distinction between natural and social sciences. First, with definition again, natural sciences, Lidox in the year 2002 defines natural sciences as disciplines that deal only with natural events that is independent and dependent variables in nature using scientific methods. Whereas social sciences, the discipline of social sciences are viewed as those that deal with human society, societal groups, individuals in their relationships or institutions of societies and material goods as expression of human cohabitation by Bayer in the year 1992. Now let's understand the origin of natural sciences according to Buschel in the year 1992 the birth of natural science is marked by changing world views introduced by renaissance that is rebirth thinkers who questioned earlier explanations about the world and it turned to more systematic methods of investigation. 
early leaders of this scientific revolution included Galileo and Copernicus who were concerned with problems from disciplines including astronomy and physics among others. Social sciences are much younger than the natural sciences even though the social interactions in a society have probably been of interest for many centuries. Scientific studies of social interactions began as lead during 19th century with sociological publications including Suicide by Emily Durkheim and Systeme de Postic Positive, the latter of which also set a stone for a positivist approach to social sciences. Now, understand the subject of study of both natural and social sciences. The aim of the natural sciences is to discover the laws that ruled the world given by Buschel in the year 1992. In contrast to the natural sciences, the study objects of social sciences can take notice of forecast scientists. Subject of study are the phenomena of social interaction and coexistence. Now, natural sciences, the focus lies here uh, hereby on the natural and not on the social world, although the differentiation is not always simple. Social science can rather be classified by their common perspective than through a specific subject of study. Now, what are the core areas of natural sciences and social sciences? Let's understand. Natural sciences, chemistry, biology and physics. Social sciences, history, political science, geography, economics. Now, regarding natural sciences, nevertheless, this is not a final list of research areas since many other disciplines were later born out of these. As more knowledge is created, more specific questions arise. These leads to the fact that early natural scientists were generalists from today's perspective and later specialized in newly emerging disciplines such as astronomy in the beginning, different engineering disciplines later and rather recently in the last century created fields such as robotics or bionics. Now the methods. Natural science methods are possibly the most popular methods of scientific investigation. The new American Oxford Dictionary even defines scientific methods in general as methods characterizing natural science since the 17th century consisting in systematic observation, measurement and experiment. Social science, one of the mainly used methods in the observation as a social science counterpart, part of the natural science experiment. It is much more difficult to carry out and experiment in social than in natural science. The reason therefore lies in the uncontrollability of solution environment. While there are other methods used by other sciences, these are without doubt the most important methods used in the natural sciences compared to the social science. The natural science rely more of mathematically based methods. The reason for this is the more uniform nature of natural sciences and accountability that enables the scientists to apply mathematics by Buschel in the year 1992. While physics or chemistry rely to a large extent on controlled experimental settings, such settings cannot be created so easily for most investigations of sociology. While talking about philosophical stances, while, natural, while thinkers including Karl Popper and Thomas Kuhn, fundamental criticism of natural science approaches has emerged during the 20th century. Before Popper, the way in which knowledge is created was not questioned by most scientists. Most of them adopted inductive epistemology in which a finding is regarded as a general truth when a sufficient number of experiments have tend to the same outcome. Among the first popular stances in the social science is the positivist position which had been advocated by early social scientists like Comte who argued that the studies of social reality should apply the same methods as the natural science. Now, along with this advantages, there are some limitations also of this natural and social science. Let's understand these 
appear. Criticizing this, Popper put forward that a theory cannot be confirmed by induction but only falsified by a simple observation. Example, for instance, a scientist observing the color of swans on a lake who has seen a number of only white swans cannot conclude that all swans are white. Rather, his theory all swans are white must be tied to falsified through the re research of a black swan. Now, social sciences, it was criticized by advocates of interpretive who argued that social reality cannot be measured in the same way as natural events. Rather, scientists have to aim at grasping the subjective meaning of social sciences. Example, this thought is reflected in Max Weber's notion of Verstehen. Fin natural sciences, financial boundaries play a role in most research projects but can become especially severe when expensive equipment has to be employed. Examples include experiments for which space shuttles have to be launched or infrastructure such as the laboratory is required. Now, studies in social science are often limited by various factors including the need-based finding on interpretations, the complexity of a field in which single variable cannot be controlled for easily as well as ethical issues and financial problems. Now, we come to the distinction between natural sciences and social sciences. Let's have a quick revision once again. Natural sciences deal only with natural events using scientific methods. Social sciences deal with human society, societal groups, individuals in their relationships or institutions of societies. Natural sciences are systematic methods of investigation while social sciences are scientific studies of social interactions. The aim of the natural sciences is to discover the laws that rule the world. And social sciences, subject of study are the phenomena of social interaction and coexistence. Now, what are the core areas, chemistry, biology and physics for natural sciences? And the core areas of social sciences are history, political science, geography, economics, etc. Now, lastly, the scientific investigation is the method for natural sciences and observation for social sciences. Let's conclude this. The social as well as the natural science increasingly depend on computer-aided method for data analysis. The natural and the social science stand out as two branches with disciplines that have some similarities but differ strongly above all in what they aim to investigate. So we come to the end of this topic that is distinction between natural science and social science. And let's meet again with another topic in the next video. As motivation, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Thanks. Happy learning.